That's it's true. gross. <laughs> I used to have this really fun thing when I was in my early 20s as an actor, because I still did like spandex kids parties on the weekends, and, like Power Rangers and Spider-Man. So I had this really neat trick where I ate whatever I wanted, I just didn't swallow it. I just spit it in the trash. That's called an eating disorder. No! <laughs> well, because I didn't want to go through all the trouble of throwing it up. So if I wanted to eat a whole chocolate cake, I could eat a whole chocolate cake and just didn't swallow it. Yeah, it that one has a name. I can't remember what it's called, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was ahead of my time. <laughs> um, hey, guys. I'm Jane Saxton. I play Megami in Food Wars. I'm Blake Shepard. I play Soma Yukihira in the Food Wars. Thanks for coming out on a Saturday to the Learning Center. Does um, everyone have their notes out? Yeah. Uh, or it's laptop nowadays, right? We're here for comedy defensive driving. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been a long time. This is what, I don't know. <laughs> I had to do a comedic defensive driving course. I do them online now. And like actually eating it? Yes. <laughs> Digesting it? Oh, God. So wait, Hello. so have you ever gotten in a wreck because you're like eating and driving? Or have you perfected the art <laughs> like of eating it? <laughs> I'm tying it together. So, do you strap a bucket? In. Just so you know, when I left Funimation last week, or this last week, after we did The Last Darling in the Franks, I stopped at, did I tell you the story? I stopped at Two Thai in the... Wait. Yeah, I think yes. so. Yeah. So I got a Thai fried rice oh, yeah. to myself with pork, and it was like this <coughs> big for four people. And I ate the whole thing with chopsticks while I was driving for four hours back to Houston. Uh, didn't hit anybody. Very proud of yourself. Good job. Indeed. Hey guys, thanks for coming to the food wars. To the food wars, where we tell you about all of our horrible wrecks and how many tickets we got. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So food wars. Oh, it was a delicious show. So much show on me. What? Yes. Delicious. Delicious. I have gum in my mouth so that I don't vomit anymore. Which anyone might ask us questions? Have you been able to Have you been able to find any recipes from the show online? Yes. Uh -huh. no. Oh my god. There's so There's so many. Like, have you guys seen the one where the people try not to eat food wars food? That is the best one. Is it like a video? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if it's the Try Guys that did it, wow. but I've, I've recently gotten really obsessed with watching Irish people try different kinds of food. <laughs> um, Specifically Irish people. Because the commentary is probably really great. They're so picky. <laughs> they eat like three things. Yeah, they eat three things. And then like the things they do like are just like the stupidest things. Like, it's like the pie. Like, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Of course, if you're eating pie, why would you not think that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this is crap. Oh, I can eat this all day. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yes. Um, you can't drink alcohol, you know that, right? Well, you can't eat alcohol. That's one of the very things. Uh -huh. Don't, don't eat alcohol. Why are you using the like three things? Oh, well, yes. That's true. Alcohol. Oh. alcohol is one of the things, yes, that they, that they like. Yeah. And I think, I, gosh, I think that there was even an episode where they tried, like, crazy American cocktails. Where it's something oh, where they're like all those, like, sugar bombs and stuff. Like, oh, 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 it's terrible. <laughs> they, like, or they're, like, they, like, trying, like, Budweiser's and Bud Lights and stuff. I don't know. It was some. I had a, an Irish roommate in college. Her name was Caroline McCarran. She had hot pink hair and hot pink shoes, hot pink everything, and she called me Gia. Like, it's like my name had an extra syllable, Gia. Um, but I, one time I was like, so I'm going to take you somewhere just to like watch you. And I took her to Finnegan's. I was like, here's what we think of you. And I was like, what the fuck is this place? <laughs> The Monte Cristo. And the, <laughs> like, it was so. It was fun though, yeah. She did, she like, get, did she get French fries though? I. Oh, you know what's interesting? I think she did. She might have got like just a burger and fries. Mm -hmm. But I noticed every time I ate with her, um, it's. I think it must be different. And I've been over there, but I don't. I'm not recalling like what it's like when they serve you food. But um, 
she would always make the garnish what we just like throw to the side. She'd be like, oh, it's a salad. You know, and just like try to like eat like the garnish. Like somehow she would eat it because vegetables. But for us, we're like, oh, we'll just throw that kale over there, that random piece of whatever. I get made fun of all the time for eating garnishes. Like even when yeah. I have, even when I eat bogito, when I eat bogitos. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be a, I was, I was, I was trying to be a, sh a shock, a, do like a shock thing, and I was like, ooh, this looks good. And I was like, it's actually really good. I don't into this. Because the, yeah. the rind sort of the balances bitter. out the tartness, the bitterness mm -hmm. balances out the tartness a little bit. I didn't know until my mid-twenties, I think, that you, you could eat a mango with the skin on it. Yeah, that's so weird for me. I, I'm not... I like saw a girl doing it and I was like, what is happening right now? I just like stared for a while. And then I, I started trying it and I was like, oh, I can be into this. This is cool. I always, I always eat mango slice because I loved it when I was a kid. And one time I ate three in a row and I was like putting my whole mouth into the mouth. <laughs> and it was like getting all over my face and my face puffed up. And I got a huge rash all the way off the wall. So are you allergic to mango? I don't know. Maybe. I think maybe. <laughs> I don't think that's a normal reaction. I still or your, your skin just like had a lot of citric acid. I thought that was a citric yeah. acid. It just I'm allergic to kiwi. No. Yeah. So good. Oh. It's like, like, it's <laughs> so sad. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're sad for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only food. Can you eat the rind of kiwi too? The, the fuzzy I food? wouldn't want yeah. to. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, it tastes fuzzy, but it's not good. Um, okay. I had, um, what was cool was uh, I actually got to go to Japan a few, like last month, I was there for like three weeks, and it's so cool seeing all the food from Food Wars there, okay. but it's like, not really, like it's because this is all like food plus, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, it's this dish with all this stuff, and it's like, whoa, melty, and all this stuff, but um, it was, it was really cool to see all their like plastic food displays and all that, because it all looks so shiny. Do they have a food war themed like cafe or anything? No, but they did have an anime themed cafe, which was one? really disappointing. <laughs> it was basically like, so ketchup is a thing over there that they eat a lot of, like spaghetti and ketchup. It's a thing that you could eat. Granted, their ketchup. It has a name, I can't remember. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all spaghetti it's spaghetti and Neapolitan. Yeah, Neapolitan, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, um, their ketchup there is more delicious than ours, though, because there's less ingredients and they don't put as much sugar in it. So it's actually just like vinegar and tomatoes, and it's pretty good. Um, it's it, yeah, it's it's, it's it tastes their ketchup there tastes a lot more like the Whataburger ketchup to me. Whataburger <laughs> spicy ketchup, y'all. That's right? what's at. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whataburger yeah. spicy good ketchup. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the the anime cafe had like you know the omelet with like. Japanese writing on it in yeah. ketchup, right? You know, and stuff like that. It was all just very like simple stuff. They were clearly just like a tea cafe that had some food. But, yeah. But yeah, I saw that there, but no, I didn't see like a food wars cafe. Someone was telling me that they tried to look up like a chef doing these meals, and he was saying like some of them are like hundred and thirty dollars to make oh. because all the ingredients are yeah. so hard to like. It's a lot of like really nice stuff. Yeah. I mean, obviously they go to a really fancy school, so under thirty dollars like, trial meals. Yeah, but what if you don't like it? That's true. <laughs> they're also scavenging for all of their like, ingredients. Like, what if I don't like it? Oh, that's terrible. You just have to wander that's around we, outside. Megan, you like saw the simple foods. She's really good. At that. Yeah. I loved her episode where she goes to her hometown. And that's my meet favorite. All the fish market people mm -hmm. and all that. And oh, she, that was so she good. does the goose fish. And now there's a little nendroid with her and a tiny little goose fish in her. Yeah, it's so cute. Hashtag want. Yeah, that was my favorite too. I love that because, um, and I can relate to that because my mom is a really, really good cook and she does like all the southern home cooking. And I love my mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I want ramen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 
on it. We need breakfast dishes. I couldn't really. <laughs> well, cool. Do you guys uh, do you have any questions about food boards? Yes. If you could um, eat a dish from food boards, which one would it be? <laughs> well, you could try Megami's Ramen. Yeah, I would try Megami's Ramen or that. Um, no. Maybe, maybe the maybe the beef beef bulgogi. Beef bulgogi. Because I don't particularly. I mean, I like beef bulgogi, but I don't really eat it because it seems kind of. So it'd be kind of cool to have like a soma one. And then uh, I'd really like to still try that um, bacon wrapped potato thing. Because it looks oh, really yeah. hard to make. Like, I do a lot of bacon wrapped stuff, and it's really hard to actually get the bacon grease to soak into things. So I don't know if maybe the potato would pull the grease in, but I want to try to make like a mini one. Like, just do like an Idaho potato maybe, and just like make a mini version of it. Just wrap everything in bacon. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's those, there are two, like, if you guys ever had Japanese sweet potatoes? Yes. So they are amazing. They have a purple skin and they're white on the inside. And I started making french fries out of them. Um, and I also use them as, like, hamburger buns. Because I don't really, like, I do that instead of eating the bread. Because it's just, it's more nutritious. Um, and then I also eat less other stuff. Like, it's more filling. But um, it's so good. Like, the bread tastes, the potato tastes kind of like Hawaiian bread. Like it's sort of got this like sweet sort of sweet potato -y flavor, but it's not like yellow or orange sweet potatoes like you have at Thanksgiving. They taste totally different. But they're really good and I would like to try to make one of those potatoes wrapped in bacon. Because they're kind of sweet, so like the sweet but they're kind of salty. Are they stringy like regular sweet potatoes? <clears throat> no, they're more like just regular sweet potatoes. Um, I'd like to try, I can't remember what it's called, but like Soma made this fried fish dish. It was really, it looked really Oh, that wrap. Do you remember the chicken, the fried chicken wraps that they were making? Yeah, they were selling them. <laughs> oh, yeah, try that. Like... What about you? Which one would you want to try? Um, the, the bacon uh, dish from the Bakers episode. That looked really good. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. I want all of it. Stuff. What is it? <laughs> Something pork. We call it the not, not yet yeah, the pork roast. Gotcha pork roast. Oh yeah, that's what it was. The gotcha pork roast. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, there was one day I was with my friends here visiting and we went to like all we did the entire day was go to restaurants and like comic shops and stuff and they took me to two uh, Japanese restaurants here in town called Uchiko. Uh, and serve nothing but authentic Japanese stuff, Japanese chefs there, no forks, just chopsticks. And uh, they recommend like the sauteed Brussels sprouts, uh, the beef tongs, which is the English name for it. I do have a picture on my phone, I'll show it to you on autographs. But, and uh, I had the, the salmon roll with over, the, over its head, and it was just, oh man. It, the fish taste was there, but it was soft and, and the sushi rice just caught with it. And another place, I think it was called like a sumo uh, restaurant, but they stir, they have large bowl ramens. We had the spicy ramens. You guys have really Kura good. here, right? The revolving sushi restaurant? Yeah, we do. It's like the bear belts. Love that place. Yeah. Yes. For, for, for lunch. <laughs> so I've started making uh, <coughs> sushi, because I, I make stir fries all the time at home, because uh, I love, like, love making stir fries. And uh, I, I eat a lot of white rice. Like it's pretty much my favorite food now. And so I've started making sushi fried rice, um, where I take like I basically make my own sushi rice, which is it's. You can do different things with it, but I like it with um, dashi, mirin, a little bit of sugar, and um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of fish oil to it, just to kind of give it a little extra. And uh, that's really good. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I've, I've been doing that, but yeah, that's really good um, with stir fries and stuff. And I've, I've also, um, I've really been getting into uh, onigiri. Have yes. you guys, you guys like onigiri? Yes, there's actually a Japanese uh, market here in Austin that sells onigiri. I first made, they, get them, they, made them, they make them fresh every day. It's called Asahi, and it's over on West Anderson. Yes! 
Yes, yeah, so I like the beer. Yeah, so I like the beer. Huh. Oh, I learned that oishi means delicious. Oishi. 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 So yeah, that's good. Uh, anyway, but yeah, they have these, uh, in Japan, they have these really cool uh, onigiris that are they're like individually wrapped and they sell them at 7-Elevens and stuff and they're all so good like it's food in 7-Elevens in Japan or like Lawson's there is not like 7-Eleven going and getting hot dogs here it's like their their standard of food is so high in Japan that they send us the food that's not not okay to eat in Japan and America's like yeah we'll take that that looks good so they send us a lot of the fish that's like below their quality standards but it's our quality standards are fine but they have little onigiris that are in wrappers and you pull them apart. Like inside of it, the seaweed and the rice is separate because there's a little like film in between. And then you undo it and then pull it and then the seaweed like falls onto the rice. It'd be like pulling the table off, the tablecloth off and it's like still there. And you just wrap it and... <laughs> just like that. <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> And the, the chairman of St. Japan, he goes to Japan a lot, maybe like two or three times a year. Whoa. And he said, uh, you know, like those so, those Japanese sodas that are, we sell here, like a Kanzas Ramun's, Ramune? He says, they're not in Japan. You can't find no. it. To <laughs> so that may be one of the things they send here, unless it's a licensed thing. I yeah, it's all green. I think it's licensed here in the United States because uh, the last time I saw a Ramune bottle and where, when it was manufactured, it was somewhere in upstate New York. Oh. So. Yeah, most of the stuff I saw there was like green tea and the uh, barley teas, like the the oat teas or no. yeah, I think it's barley tea. It's a little melon soda too. Yeah, melon sodas. They didn't honestly. They didn't even really have Sprite there. That was really surprising. They had Coke. Lots of Coke. But the Sprite. <laughs> yeah. I found Sprite in like two places, like tucked away somewhere. <laughs> so, and of course, you can't talk about soda in Japan without talking about the aversion to root beer. Oh, they don't like root beer there? They think it's like, they think it tastes like cough syrup. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I want to go up there and get their cough syrup then. For real? Right? Right? For real? <laughs> Show me some of that. <laughs> oh, see, I wanted to say something offensive that oh. your, your camera's on. Uh, <laughs> you stared at his camera. <laughs> no. Just it's like, it's like someone looking at me going, Jeez. <laughs> 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 Talk about purple drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I say it? I think I know what you're talking about. What? Tentacle grape. Tentacle. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm glad you brought that, that up. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of tentacles, I did have some octopus with uh, peanut butter. Oh, while I was there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's worse than you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in my defense, I got like the beef jerky squid that was like in the package, so it was really heavy, oh, and salted, yeah. and fishy, oh. and old. And, um, and old. Yeah, that well, smell. I mean, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so I had that with peanut butter, and it was it was hard to keep down. I ate it because huh. I'm not I'm not a wimp, but I did not want to eat it. <laughs> I don't let my food tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're going in there. You're not Soma. <laughs> I saw a video recently by IGN. They interviewed Sean and Chris, you know, to read Yelp reviews uh, for restaurants in their Vegeta and Goku voices. Oh and, and Sean was like, Goku, this is just so out of character. He would eat anything, even if it's bad. <laughs> it's like, Vegeta, yeah, like, this yogurt doesn't meet my standards. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> Did you guys ever like go into the record for the Food Wars like hungry or, or was that always a, you just knew not to do that? No, I, I kept forgetting to eat before I would go into record Food Wars. But luckily Houston has such great food mm -hmm. that uh, I could find something that was like whatever they were doing. Oh. Which made me always want um, Asian food every time I was down there, Kyle. They're like, can we go to that place? <laughs> yeah. Do they? Do you ever go to House of Bowls? Do you ever go to House of Bowls? No. Oh my gosh. There's some Chinese place that we went. So it's a can, a Cantonese. Do you guys like Cantonese food? Oh yeah.
Oh, so yeah. yeah, so one of the one of the big differences like with Chinese food, there's like especially here in the States, it's Cantonese and Szechuan. Mm -hmm. And so Szechuan is the like really saucy, kind of like thick, you know, overly sauced kind of Chinese food. And the one that's more common, right? Hmm? The one that's more common in the United States. It's Szechuan, right? Yeah, and Cantonese is a little bit fresher. It's generally family style, like it's large portions and it'll be it's more centered around like the vegetable flavors and the chicken flavors and all that, kind of all sauteed together to make like, the, the Cantonese. But yeah, there's some, there's, we have some really good Cantonese dishes. But it's nice because it's just like big giant curry noodle dishes. And they have like really good chicken, salt and pepper chicken wings at this one that's like, Have you guys ever had black beans? Do you ever like yeah. meat yes, black yeah. bean, mm -hmm. like soft, like uh, Chinese black beans or bean, oh. Japanese black bean? Yeah. Not those. <laughs> or red beans. Red beans. I like beans. Yeah. Red beans are so good. <laughs> I think the I'm last. Curious, time. Have you ever? You're talking about all these different locations you've gone to. Have you ever tried anything outside of Asia? Something like Ethiopian? Yeah, totally. I've never I've, had Ethiopian. I would like to try those. There's a, there's a little Ethiopian place <laughs> across the highway called Habesha. It's usually, um, usually I think it's like seven dollars for a buffet. My my favorite, honestly, that I've ever had um, from like a, from that style of food because it tends to be a little spicier yeah. um, is Afghan food. Food from Afghanistan is crazy good. <laughs> it is it is like it's mi it's Middle Eastern, so like I love Turkish food a lot. I I used to eat a ton of Turkish food and. Afghan food is like the spicy as hell version of any Middle Eastern food you've ever eaten. And so I had some, yeah, I, I don't know, I think it was goat. It was like a goat one that was, oh, so hot. I mean, my ears pop. This one here got to try cow balls. Cow fries? Okay. Rocky Mountain Noisers. She was in the military and they all tried them. Yeah. Did you like them? They were. Fine. Right? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just don't like to tell people I'm doing this. I don't really dare. Yeah, God. I recently tried goat brains and I really liked them. Oh, God. And they were, uh, that was in, at an Indian restaurant. <laughs> what? I mean, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I was at an Indian restaurant in Houston and they had a goat brains. It was really good. It, it was kind of like, have you guys ever had that laughing cow cheese? Yes. yes. So it's sort of that consistency, no. but meat. And it was delicious. Oh. I highly recommend it. Sounds good. Meat should not be that consistency. <laughs> well, what about there's, um, there's like pate and liverwurst. Yeah, pate and liverwurst and all that stuff. Okay, yes, yeah, so my cat that. loves that, but. Well, <laughs> 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 In cat food. Yeah. <laughs> I would eat gourmet cat food. Like if you took all the ingredients that are in cat food and did like really high end ingredients for that to make like human cat food, you try that. So well, good. food that's actually good for your pets, you should be able to eat it. Touché. So let's be conscious of what we're feeding Touché. our pets. Touché. Touché. <laughs> okay. Based on all of his weird experiences, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Because your face says no. All right, my push. This is the weirdest thing. I've never had any sort of brains. I just, I don't think I could go there. I did, I did, when in France, I did try escargot. Did you like it? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like eating a booger. <laughs> it's so was gross. It, was it garlicky? Did they go yeah. Like yeah, but I think it's the same reason I don't like, like a raw oyster. So I was going to uh, say, you probably don't like oysters. So we were no. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the fence with oysters now because oh, I get nervous with oysters. Gulf oysters. Like, yeah. oysters. I, it makes me nervous. I don't know. I just, I mean, and it's, I don't mean to be like a, you know, alarmist about it. Like, I, I love oysters. I love them. But I don't know. They just, they make me nervous now. I used to eat them all the time. And I like, I like with escargot that you can, like, taste the grass. Like, you can taste the earth in it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, that's that's what I don't like about oysters. Is I feel like I'm scooping up sand from the bottom of the ocean. But that's like I was gonna say. There's you get different oysters from different regions, and they yeah. all taste different. Yeah. So Japanese oysters are mm -hmm. really salty. Really salty. But 
Mm. I don't know many people who like oysters. I only know like two or three. Mm -hmm. I mean. You know two more. I'm obsessed with oysters. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know three more. Now you're like, you're like, you're like the third one I know. <laughs> I just love food. I just I love food. <laughs> I've had a lot of game just growing up in Texas. Mm -hmm. I've had some different game. Bison, deer, dove. I guess that's not really game, but mm -hmm. it was weird because it was like they would all go dove hunting and then come back and grill it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'd like to eat a good And I've had gator. Yeah, gator's great. Yeah, I eat okay. gator at Renfest. You guys ever go to the Renaissance Festival and back to the really big one? Mm -hmm. They have fried alligator there. Section. There was a seafood restaurant. Uh, it's not in business anymore. It was years ago. They had uh, appetizer of a alligator tail uh, bites that are fried with ranch Razzoos? with ranch dressing. Is that what it's called? I, I worked there for three years, so I know all about the. Okay. No, no, I don't. I don't think it was called that. I think it was just called like Texas seafood something. Oh, okay. It's, well, they have it there. They have gator tail and fried gator tail. It tasted like chicken. It is because it was white meat or Frog something. Legs. <laughs> yeah. Frog, Frog legs. Frog legs we've had, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, I, I mean, the weirdest food that I've ever seen, and I, I don't want to try, but I just have to put this out there because every time I talk about the weirdest food, and I don't know what it's called, but it, I was watching one of those, like, R.I.P., like Anthony Bourdain, like, situations, or, like, one of those... I don't remember which one it was. Actually, I don't think of that. It's like the bald guy. Like, yeah, Andrew's 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 Using everything you can from this earth. Yeah, so that's that's where I like that's that's where my weirdness gets. It's like those things that it's like super rare. Or like we took a baby chicken from its mother's womb and chopped it up and fried it, and this it's like I don't want to eat that. But if they didn't tell you what it was, would you eat it? No, it's it's not even so much that. It's just like even if I ate it, I would eat it, but I wouldn't eat it again. You know, <laughs> like I would because it's like. A, that's, I feel like that's above and beyond. You would like, try it, but it wouldn't feel wrong. Yeah, it's just like, you're like, yeah. I need to taste it, but it feels wrong. Yeah, it's but like, I'm super big about eating the whole animal. So mm -hmm. like, I've, I've kind of, instead of becoming vegetarian, my solution <laughs> to my moral dilemma with eating meat is that I have to try all the parts of the animal mm -hmm. so that I know what all of it tastes like and I would be willing to eat it. So like, mm -hmm. if I'm gonna, be, if I'm gonna eat a steak, I gotta be able to eat cheek, and I gotta be able to eat like like the brain thing? and all that tendon. Oh, yeah, so I love, and now what's happened is, is I love tendon. I love all of the like joints and like all that mm -hmm. gristly stuff people throw away. I will. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The bone marrow. Now, now we know why you broth. eat the mint from yeah. the mojito. Yeah, I love bone creation. broth. I love bone marrow. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's because <laughs> I just all I need, the things. I need to consume them all. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. but I it just it was yeah. There was a uh, I went to a Buddhist temple one time, and, and the, the the Buddhist monk gave this really cool kind of. It's not really a sermon. They just sort of talk about the philosophy of Buddhism. But they were saying, like, there's so many people that go through life and they eat every single day and they never taste their food. And it's sad. And it's so true. Like, how many of us just eat because we're hungry and you're not actually, like, tasting it and, like, living in the moment and, like, you know, accepting each bite with this sort of thankfulness. You know, it's, it's just such an interesting way to think about, wow, if I lived that way every day, I'd be so much happier because I'd be so grateful for every single thing that I, you know. So it, it's just sort of made me rethink like how I approach meat. And I was like, well, I'm going to try it all. And then I ended up liking it every day. Apparently I'm just not very picky. So there's nothing, <laughs> there's no kind of meat or type of meat that you've met that you've been like, mm -hmm. No, not at all. I mean, but I loved liver and onions when I was a kid. So like when we do. My mama loves them. Yeah, <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> Light of the drum. Like Rocky Mountain oysters. Not you mean just like liver? No, Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain. Cat fries? Yeah, cat fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Are we cooked or coo
chill. Whoa. Chill. Like, yeah, like raw? No, no, raw, chill. Oh. I'm gonna go with no, but he probably would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll leave the I'll leave the blue balls alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there was an episode of uh, Bizarre that I, I saw my cousin uh, where he went to China and they found a shop where they serve only like animal genitalia in like dishes, like yes. snake uh, penis. Yeah, see, that's too far because what happened to the rest of the animal? Why can't, you, why can't you also have fried chicken legs? Like, just have, like no, 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 we focus on this. Like, <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> guess if nothing else is open. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so crazy how seriously tempura is treated in Japan. I mean, we have tempura here, and it's just like, oh yeah, fried stuff. Yeah. But there, there, there are some restaurants that are so well known for the, their tempura, they don't even make sauce. There's like, there's, there's three ways you can eat tempura. You can do it with a little bit of salt. You can do it with a little bit of salt and chili powder, like a ground up chili, or you can do it with sauce. You don't mix salt with sauce, you don't mix chili with sauce. You either get the sauce or you get the salt and the chili and you just sprinkle it on top of it and that's how they eat tempura. And it's, the idea is, is that you actually want to be able to taste, it's like they're all trying to get that perfect crunch, right? That perfect like crispy, not too greasy, light, fluffy, flaky perfection. Mm -hmm. But can you cook? <laughs> you can't cook all of this stuff. You're, you're eating everybody else's creations. I, can you cook? I can cook, but I am not very picky. Like, I'm not a chef that's like, this needs to be. Are you a pantry seeker? You can just go into a pantry and say, I'm going to put this and this and this and this, yeah. whatever. I'm that guy. I can, like, <laughs> I, will, I will look at the ingredients I have in, like, my half-empty refrigerator and think of it as a challenge. This will work. I'm like, I will make something delicious. So, so chop oh, every day in your house. This and this and this and yeah. this and this. <laughs> So you are so <laughs> yeah. You are so Except <laughs> my things don't taste that delicious. <laughs> I've definitely made food for people and they're like, I'm good. <laughs> the worst, really? the worst, I think it's delicious. The worst part is when you make something look good and then you eat it and it's not. Oh, it's not. Yeah. It looked real pretty though. Yeah, it looked amazing. <laughs> I gave a presentation of 10. Please, <laughs> yeah. is it on the chart? <laughs> Two. Um, I'm probably only going to eat blowfish a certain amount of times in my life, just because I feel like you you're like you're dancing with. Yeah, yeah I was just gonna say it's like a whole nother anxiety level. But it, how many of you guys have ever had blowfish? I had it once, but the guy was like a certified. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, they have to be. Yeah, like, they have to be. That was in Dallas. <laughs> okay. You, what about you? Are there any food you want? Yeah, lots. Oh, okay. Lots. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, one time I ate blowfish and I actually thought I got a bad piece because it gave me that like euphoric, like I started kind of like not tripping, but I started getting a weird body high. And I was like, this is the end. <laughs> but it turns out blowfish just does that sometimes. It's <laughs> like, oh, well. You just got that Twenty dollars well spent. <laughs> <laughs> that was for two pieces, but how big are those pieces? They're just like little. Yeah, uh, they're not big. Yeah, little sashimi kind of pieces. Little slivers. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm not that brave. Because I, I don't, I don't even know that I would like how it tastes. Oh, it's so good. It's like the cleanest. Fit, like it's a. Uh, it's almost kind of like a mix between flounder with the consistency of salmon, and I'm talking specifically like raw. So it's, it's the consistency of salmon, the taste of like a flounder or a redfish almost, but it's also kind of got this uh, octopus elasticity to it too. Like it kind of is, yeah, it's almost it's almost kind of got that sort of rubbery bounce to it. But as soon as you bite into it, the whole inside is just like buttery, delicious goodness. It's just so 
It's a really, really good fish. Highly recommend it. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't have eaten it if I knew what it was because you know I, I grew up watching Dragon Ball and I learned quickly that's a bad idea. But my friends ordered it without me knowing and said, okay, try this. Okay, and then they told me what it was. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. You're still here. I am. You're still here. Survive. Thank goodness. I'm still standing. <laughs> See, so I don't know if you can use that now because I'll know it's going to sue me for something. <laughs> 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 is, there, is there a specific way you like certain foods prepared? Like, say you might have, I don't know, a catfish. Would you rather have, um, a, you know, baked, grilled, smoked? Like, you know. I don't. I southern don't seasoning. You don't? Seasoning. Um, gosh, I guess I'm, I'm more of a southern or I prefer red fish, fish to catfish. Uh, I like it blackened and fried mm. with hush puppies. Mm. <laughs> Tomato sauce. Hush puppies. Hush puppies. Hush puppies. Hush puppies. Um, I have been trying to be vegan this year, y'all, and the struggle is real. Mm. <laughs> like, um, it's not going so well. And that's the question everyone asks. It's not. It's not. Right, but yeah. what do you put them What are your favorite? What are your go tos? Because you know, there's one thing like being vegan is good, but when you're vegan on the go, like what's what? Do you, what are your go tos? That's why it foods? hasn't worked out so well. It's just like it's not, yeah. And um, a lot of beans, you know, a lot of that, and tofu. Tofu. Yeah, a lot of tofu. Um, mm. But I'm. <laughs> that's why I'm like, I give myself the whole year to transition, and I did really good for like four or five months, and now like. I got like really sick and I don't know. So I'm having, um, but it wasn't because of that. But anyways, I'm having like fish in. Dairy is the hardest for me to get back. Really? Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. I love queso. What can I say? <laughs> well, you can go to some Mexican restaurants where it's more water than cheese. Maybe that. Would be <laughs> Those are my favorite kinds of queso. It's like. like what <laughs> 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 like, like, as far as far as you specifically, how much like say beans would you have to eat to supplement like not eating meat? Because I had tried going vegan for years. My roommate, who owned the house, was going vegan, so I would expect to try it. And I ended up going to the hospital. The guy was like, "Yeah, you need to eat more protein to, uh, supplement, it, it or go back to eating meat because you'll die." So I chose the latter and went back to eating meat. And you just have to shut up about it. But like, what about you? Like, how much would you supplement it in order to keep enough protein up that your body won't like shut down? I wasn't really trying to calculate all of that. I was just trying to to figure out if I could eat that way and live that way and make those choices. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of I, I I have like protein shakes and stuff like that too with like plant based protein and um. um I'm sorry you got sick, but a lot of the times, like that's like kind of the myth that like a lot of people are pushing out about all these really high protein diets and everything. Like it's not we, sometimes we don't need as much protein as those are telling that you need. Oh no, I agree. Yeah. The problem, like the problem, wasn't that I needed more protein. It's that when I did make the transition, uh, he the way he cooked, his body was used to not eating. So I basically like went from 100 to zero. Oh yeah. So, like, See, I, I, I think ate, transitioning is important. Like I would eat beans, I would eat like broccoli and things like that. Things that had protein in them, but it wasn't enough to supplement what my body was used to. So my body basically shut down. So, yeah. Something. Yeah, you might so try you like if you want to do it again, and it, you know, it's up to you. It's everybody's choice. Like just backing off one like product at a time. Like this month I won't, you know, like I'm giving up beef, and then the next month I'll give up poultry, and then the next, you know what I mean? I'll give up fish, but I'll still eat eggs, you know what I mean? Like, and kind of like just slowly, so it isn't from zero, and that's kind of what I did. I just took like one thing away. Yeah, another thing you also want to be careful of um, with that is not eating a lot of raw, really dark greens. It's not a good idea because they have enzymes on the outside of them that protect them from bacteria and things out in the wild. And those things are actually really hard for your body to break down. So if you're doing like smoothies and you're putting raw kale and you're in it and you're drinking that every day, you're going to totally break down your kidneys and your liver and all the things that process that because those really harsh enzymes 
air you up. So but like, if you cook it first and just like get it kind of hot, so that'll. So like, could I, like, would I have to boil it or like just like steam the kale? Yeah, you know, whatever. Just just something to just something to cook that outer layer off, um, just so that the when when you see the color sort of brighten, you know, as it sort of pops through that that color. Um, one of the things that I like to do that's so good with kale is I tear it up and I just like rub it to hell with coconut oil. And then I throw a bunch of spices on it and separate it and make chips out of it. And so I'll just bake it in the oven and I'll make kale chips and I'll use like cayenne and salt and a little bit of like garlic on it. And it's awesome and they, they come up like little crispy kale chips and you can just put them in a bag and save them and you can just eat them whenever you want. Just make sure, yeah, I just buy a head of kale and as long as you just tear it up and give everything enough room to breathe on the cookie sheet, it's still delicious. Yes. So you just made me really nervous because for the longest time I make smoothies and I always just put the kale in there. So <laughs> now I'm officially nervous. But uh, please know he's not a dietitian. No, I'm not. I'm not. And everybody's different. I do want to like put that disclaimer out there, yeah, even though you seem very knowledgeable. <laughs> You're probably going to be fine. <laughs> I suppose you could just say it's it's. Um, that too much good thing is bad. Yeah, right. Uh, everything in moderation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? Shut up! Oh, my gosh. Kale took effect immediately. Yeah. Oh, my God. You were right. My pride's hurt, but I'm not. Oh, my God. Were there any burning food wars questions? Because I know we kind of derailed a lot, but it was really fun to just kind of talk yeah, about say, we say it. Food yeah, we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, we'll, we'll have another Q and A, I think, in a little bit. If you no. Think of any later. Yeah. Are you guys in the middle of recording the rest of the episodes in season three? No. We can tell you, but then we never <laughs> tell I'll tell you no. <laughs> and I've heard no like word of if and when and how that will happen. But we're the last to know. Yeah, and I have I have hopes though. I have high hopes. Yes. Who are your favorite characters other than Silver? Oh yeah. What's the name of the guy that wears the apron? Apron guy. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, I like him a lot too. Yeah. So I have his apron at my at my table. I have a t-shirt like that. But not, yeah, that has like a very yeah. yeah, yeah, I love him. It's yeah, so he's my fan. And I really I like Erin, uh, even though she loves me. <laughs> but uh but if you know someone's dad or something like uh, I like dad. I like uh, Alice's assistant. Yeah. Oh, the the um. The yeah. secret expert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the girl that does all the um, Erina's cousin that has all she's like the scientist. Mm -hmm. That's Alice. Yeah, that's, that's, Alice. Alice. that's Alice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I like her a lot. Alice. Alice. Is there any animal that you should have? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, how many takes does it take to usually get? Like certain dialogue lines out. Like, some of these, I, I feel like some of the, I don't know if you had like these crazy like monologues, like really yeah. fast talking things like Megami has. But sometimes I would just stare at them and be like, oh God. <laughs> I would like feel the stage fright that Megami has about saying the, the dang line that yeah. she has to say, especially if it had a lot of complicated like Japanese style terminology for the food. Um, sometimes those took uh, several takes, mm -hmm. um, but you know, we got through it. Um, yeah, you did have a lot of really fast. Yeah, because she just freaks out all the time and <laughs> like all the food, you know, like thinking about like everything. Yeah, she's kind of like in her head, <laughs> like just having a major anxiety. Um, so yeah, sometimes those took a few times, but um, usually the one-offs, I'd say like mm, either one or two takes, just depending on. Um, yeah, just depending on how it fit and how it worked, yeah. Yeah, usually, yeah, for me, like one or two takes. Yeah. Alrighty, 
guys. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming to the Food Wars. Thanks for coming to the Food Wars, you. Keep more food. Eat all the food. We have another uh, Q and A. Everyone, be careful getting out of these chairs. They're dangerous. <laughs> um, we have another panel. Are you at the Q and A? Twelve thirty or twelve? Yeah, I think it's Oh, oh, I mean at one.